bro. When I say I'm working. All right, what's up? What's up? Look, so I want everyone to look. I'm streaming right now. Shout out to this kid. I don't know who it is, but he's what he's talking to me. He's talking to me. He's a new fan. Shout out to him, man. But look, January 1st, 2019. I was going to let 2019. Yo, so quick backstory. Apparently, this was when Aiden first started streaming four years ago, and uh, it's basically one of the video, one of his videos before he started streaming. He's basically talking to y'all, like you know what I'm saying. You know, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna make it on Twitch. I'm gonna make it on YouTube. I'm gonna do everything I possibly can to bring me and my brothers to success because that's all about 2019 is about. Follow the three golden rules. Most important, always believe in yourself no matter what. Never. And this is why. All right, off of rip. This is why I don't understand him cutting his hair. He, him, him saying, I think it's a ploy. Obviously, is you know what I'm saying. He's, he's being entertaining. He's doing something outlandish that's gonna make people look watch cool. But he's already had the motivation, as you can fucking see. The like, but it's always different. When you first starting out, you're always gonna be a little bit more motivated. Sometimes, obviously, over duration of time, over over a period of time, you become more and more motivated. I think, like when it comes to per, uh, perfecting your craft. But this is this is this is the kind of shit that's fire. Believe in yourself no matter what. Never me. never give up and never take anyone's judgment. Anybody that preaches positive messages like this and you see the growth, this is four years ago, bro. Look how big he's gotten in four years. Pause. Like that's really fucking that's that's inspirational. You know what I'm saying? That's motivational. Further from your goal. Always follow those three rules and you're gonna get the, the success that you want. And I'm gonna get there. I de I'm definitely never gonna give up. I'm gonna get there. And I'm gonna prove to everyone that I can do it. Anyone can do it. Put the three golden rules to your head and you'll be able to do it. January 1st, 2019. Get ready, 2019. I'm gonna come for you. That's fucking fire, bro. Like, I love videos like that, bro. Especially when it... The, the, the words you spoke, they actually come to fruition, you know? Like, that's really tough. That's really tough, bro. And four, he's done it in four years, bro. Yes, everybody's not gonna be able to do it in four years. Some people may do it in a year. Some people may do it in ten. It does not matter. The time length that it took to get you to where you want to be does not matter. It's the, sh the I know niggas don't want to hear this, but it's the journey you took there. It's the people you've encountered. It's the life lessons you've learned. It's 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 so much more than just how long it took you. You know what I'm saying? Like fuck, how long it took you? Did you get there? You know what I'm saying? And he has, bro. He's he's accomplished a lot of shit that has helped other streamers. Like, even to a degree, I gotta be honest, even with, like, people like Speed and, like, Kai and all these other people, like, rappers is weird. Rappers were not fucking with streamers. They looked at them as nerds and all of this, like, geeks and all that shit, bro. Streamers, gamers, whatever. Now, look at how many rappers interact with streamers slash YouTubers slash content creators, like, whatever the fuck you want to call them. A couple years back, I'm gonna be honest, the first person I ever seen, like, try to do some rap shit to try to get, like, you know what I'm saying, in the industry... And it, I kind of got a whiff of, like, niggas was not fucking with them. DDG. 100%. I'm not going to say they wasn't fucking with them because I don't know, per se, like, the relationship. But it kind of was a weird, weird dynamic. It wasn't until I seen, I seen Aiden Ross start having grown-ass rappers with their full entourage in his fucking bedroom on stream. That's when I started seeing rappers kind of connect with, you know what I'm saying? And then now, Kai, and then this is another guy. I think his name is, like, Bubba. Some shit. He be having like interviews in the cars or like reviewing them. You know what I'm saying? Playing ops music and shit like that. It'd be New York niggas type shit. Motor you know what I'm saying? More or less. But you know what I'm saying? Like he was the first one to like introduce it almost. Like before it was kind of unheard of. Like even even making a transition from a content creator to somebody who makes fucking music, bro, that's kind of unheard of. Like so these guys are shaping the dynamic. Like DDG is the first one to. To kind of cultivate and shape it to a sense of like, all right, like, yeah, I used to be a YouTube nigga. Yeah, I used to be a content creator, whatever you want to call it. But now I'm doing music. You know what I'm saying? And actually, he's, he's it's very hard to make that transition. I know it may sound easy, bro, but it's mad hard. He's one of a few that has done it. And obviously, Queen, she has done it as well. But, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. I actually kind of fuck with both of them. Shout out to them, by the way. But the point I'm trying to make is they made that transition and then they're into the industry. And I don't know necessarily if rappers fuck with them. I think they just kind of made their own lane. Aiden Ross and, like, Kai, those dudes were, like, the first few guys I actually, in, in Speed, but Speed was kind of, at the, at the time, he was, he still is. He's more, he was more part of, like, uh, he was more part of fucking Aiden's, like, oh, excuse me. He was more part of, like, Aiden's, like, group. So I kind of didn't, they kind of all in one to me, but. 
Niggas used to be in rooms. And then now you got people like Lil Baby, 21 Savage. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, some of the top rappers in, in the world, like, fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Dirk, all these other guys, you know what I'm saying? And that's fucking fire because now what is the only thing it's doing is just showing niggas like, all right, like, we kind of fuck with this. like, And I, I never understood why they didn't fuck with the nigga because I felt like these were kind of two of the same lanes. Like, you got a dude who's on YouTube 24-7 who's making content, making videos, and grabbing this small audience or grabbing this large audience just off of their personality. And rappers have, some some rappers have personality too, but you got rappers who just put music on there, and that's where so they get some of their most, I'm not going to say where they get most of their streams and, and revenue from, but it's, it's you. YouTube pay you a, a nice, a nice, a nice little, you know what I'm saying? So for them not to connect, it never made sense to me. But now I guess everything happens for a reason. Now everything is just, so I fuck with it. That's fire. Um, this, this video is definitely motivational. I'm not even gonna lie. If you don't think so, that's kind of crazy. Four years he's done, he's done some crazy things in those four years. But he's also, he's also achieved his goal. And I'm pretty sure he's set more, man. Shout out to him. Shout out to everybody that want to do this shit, man. I hope... Whatever you want to do, I don't give a fuck if you want to be a, a garbage man. You know what I'm saying? A, a top, a, a, a top CEO at a garbage comp company or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Set your goals as high as this, the the as far as the sky you you can reach out and touch that shit. I'm over here stuttering, but passionate about this shit. You know? So yeah, I want y'all to reach as fur as furthest as you think possibly and then think and then think further beyond that you know what i'm saying because shit is obtainable you can do this shit man hopefully hopefully y'all dreams do come true man keep working stay persistent stay on track you know what i'm saying don't get distracted easily and shit gonna happen man because shit gonna happen to me watch y'all seeing me now 700 subscribers right now when i make this video and in, in the next year or two fuck that this year it's about to be fucking crazy the difference is about to be phenomenal y'all gonna be like damn he did say that this video gonna be up. Watch. Believe, man. Just believe in yourself for sure, man. But let me know how y'all feel about that, man. How y'all feel about the transition that a lot of these uh content creators went through and also the transition is just Aiden. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what's going on with in your mind.